Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? It's a question we are asked from childhood and on, and we are learning to answer confidently through hands-on experience in classes that we are going to introduce to you today. Welcome to a special edition of CPSB TV. I'm Victoria. And I'm Jasmine. And we are excited to take you inside the walls of our state-of-the-art classrooms here at College Street Vocational Center as we celebrate CTE Month. Lights, camera, action! Those are the words we love to hear in television production. And to kick things off, we're showing you the skills we are putting to use in front of and behind the cameras every day. Students in this class will learn a lot. There's a lot that goes into television production that they might not be aware of until they start the class. Right out the gates, we're getting small cameras and we're shooting video. We're really learning shot composition, what makes pretty video on TV or in film, and then we're graduating up to better, more sophisticated cameras that they really enjoy getting their hands on. They're also learning digital editing with Adobe Premiere Pro, which is what they will get an industry-based certification in before the end of the school year. When I get older, I want to be a news anchor. So in order for me to become that, I have to know the basics of TV production. I want to go into business of editing, maybe do filmmaking. This class will prepare students for the future, whether they want to work in front of the camera or behind the camera in television, film, or commercial production. But even if they aren't interested in going into those fields, they are learning soft skills like teamwork, interview techniques, confidence, and really a lot of interpersonal skills as they're communicating with each other about making stories and sharing them with our community. We all have to be on our job. It's very important that we stick together and also have a relationship with one another so that we may get the job done. Students have access to an incredible space in this classroom. It's a TV studio. We have a full functioning control room. We have a psych wall that very few television stations and film studios in the state of Louisiana have, and we have one right here in our classroom. Plus, we have a digital editing lab where every student has their own computer to edit with Adobe Premiere Pro. There's not really a class like this one where you get to learn how films are shot, editing, the different effects you can add into videos is uh, really fun. To see their eyes light up when they actually make that connection that this is something they want to do with their career and know that they have the tools to do it, I don't think there's any greater success in a classroom than that. Wow, that literally took my breath away. Fortunately, right across the hall from our class, you'll find two medical classes equipping students to save lives to keep people moving. Check out Emergency Medical Responder and Sports Medicine. I'm just going to teach them to take an emergency situation out on the street and learn how to try to uh, save someone's life that could possibly die without immediate intervention. Some things that I learned in doing this class, I learned CPR, hands-on activities, like stressful situations and how to deal with them properly. The first nine weeks, the uh, students are going to learn the medical terminology, the language of medicine. They're going to learn prefixes, suffixes, root words, and then put them all together to come up and know how to break down a complex medical term. The remainder of the class is dedicated to emergency medical responder, which is the first level of pre-hospital emergency medicine certification. They will receive a license from the state of Louisiana Bureau of EMS. I'm taking this class because I want to be a registered nurse. This class will help me with my career and my future by teaching me the skills and the mindset in which I need to become a proper EMT, how to mentally and physically prepare myself. This can lead to a job in safety or it can lead to a furthering of your education to the next level, the EMT level, which would allow you to work on an ambulance. What I like most about this class is it's a lot of information, but it's just preparing me for when I go to college so I can have a jump start in my career. We have a good time, but we work hard. We respect each other. What I can tell other students about this class is that the teacher, he's very patient, and if you have a willingness to learn, he's going to do all that he can to help you if you just work. It's really helpful. Some things I can tell other students about the class is that it's fun, but there's a lot of work involved, but it's all worth it in the end. In this class, the students learn uh, about injuries and how to prevent them, how to care for them and manage them in a sports setting and in a physical therapy setting. We learn names of muscles and bones and different tape jobs and different physical therapy exercises. It really gives the 
like overview of, of athletic training. And since I am an athletic trainer at my school, Barb, it helps all the tape jobs and how to care for the wounds and all the little bumps and bruises you have and like knowing what muscles and what bones I'm doing, which is important. Students who take this class typically want to go into a career in either athletic training or physical therapy or some other type of allied health profession. Some of them even want to be nurses. I came across athletic training and it was kind of exactly what I wanted to do because I also wanted to work with like physical therapy parts and that's exactly what athletic training is. They're getting the background, they're getting the anatomy, they're getting the terminology and some hands-on skills that most allied health professionals could use in their daily work. In this class they have the option to get a CPR certification uh, and first aid certification with the idea that in the future if they continue on into the next level uh, go to college or go to trade school, uh, they can earn much, much more, but this gives them the foundation for that. There's not a class that does any of this. Like, there's biology, but this is very tapered to athletic training and sports. The class offers you a stepping stone into the field of sports medicine, which is a very broad term, but if they're interested in the medical field and kind of interested in sports together, this might be a class for them. I kind of like everything. And that's so cliche, like I love this whole class, but I, I really do, like I want to do this one at Mulder so everything applies and everything is fun and new. As we move deeper into our show's programming, why don't we stop by for a chat with some future programming? Here's a look at computer service technology. I teach computer service technology one, and computer service technology too. We learn the basics of computers, uh, what makes a computer up, what components go into a computer, how they function. We learn about na basic networking, which includes Wi-Fi, and we are introduced, I do introduce them to network security a little bit. Again, an overall basic introduction to computer service technology. I'm taking this class mainly because I wanted to know more about computers. This class will prepare you in a lot of ways. And if you want to go into computers in general, I would recommend this class because you're going to learn the basics that you're going to need, the very fundamentals that you are going to very much need in order to go into any field. First years earn the CompTIA IT Fundamentals certification. Uh, and I do provide coursework that can provide them with Two additional certifications, which is CompTIA A+, CompTIA Network+, and CompTIA Security+. Uh, I can teach the foundation of the academics, but it's really up to trying to find what the students enjoy and giving them opportunities to explore those uh, concepts uh, in this environment. Uh, we have a very good state-of-the-art lab. We have lots of equipment, uh, and, and we try and have fun with it. Wanting to channel all that passion into something useful? Elevate your creativities with these colorful courses, digital media and commercial art. I teach digital media one, digital media two. In the one course, they take a semester in Photoshop and we learn to work with graphic elements. We learn creativity. We learn to retouch photos. We learn to make composites. This is a very unique class. It's very different from others, like a lot of people wouldn't expect the skills you have to acquire to take this class, which I can now say that I acquire a lot of those skills. But with that it comes with patience, like you have to learn how to work with it, you have to learn how to learn it correctly, but it's definitely worth it at the end. They can get a design certification or visual design in Adobe Photoshop. They get a web design in Adobe Dreamweaver. They get rich media in Animate. They also get a visual one in Adobe InDesign and we get an audio one in Adobe Audition. I'm taking this class because I plan on being an IT guy in the future and I thought the coding and the programming and the art would help my career. What I like most about this class is that you can use your creativity and you can put it into whatever you're working with, with whatever program we're in. You can put it into Photoshop, you can put it into Animate, and you can put it into InDesign to make your own personal work that you create and you can be more proud of it that way. If you have creative in nature, you get a little bit of freedom in there to create your own projects. These days, resumes are kind of moving from paper more to a digital kind of thing, so you build what's called an e-portfolio. So you have some things that you've created on your own so that you can start that and have that ready for job perspectives in college. 
This is the beginning of being a graphic designer to learn different programs. Adobe Illustrator is what we concentrate on in here. So you could be an illustrator or a graphic designer. What I like most about this class is the, the activities we do on the computer and then later on we bring it to life in the lab. We did this license plate. We did this monogramming. It says my name on it. Um, and we also did this string art. We have fun in our class. I give you projects, but I let you do the creative side of it. And then we take it to the lab and we create t-shirts, screen printing, vinyl, yard signs, buttons, laser engraving, monogramming also. So we have a lot of things that the students can do. This class is great for people who want jobs like illustrating books and graphic designers. You can open your own business as doing screen printing or you can have a vinyl machine and create t-shirts and other projects. Depending on how much of a go-getter you are, but you can start at probably $40,000 and depending if you go to college and finish your degree. If you like to do on-hand things, you will like this class a lot. From computers to construction, get hands-on with carpentry. See how these students are nailing down their future plans by getting a jump start today. Some of the things that they learn in this class are learning how to read a tape measure, using hand tools, power tools, anything related to cutting wood or building things out of wood. We learn how to use a tape measure, we learn all the equipment we have to use, the measurements of the wood, what type of wood. A carpentry class will lead to being a carpenter a woodworker, a cabinet maker, and there's different forms of carpenters like trim carpenters. The core curriculum that I teach is kind of a basic or general knowledge for all the construction industries, whether it be welding, electrical, or anything like that. It teaches you safety. I'm taking carpentry because I can see myself in the future doing this because it's a great class. I like building stuff. I like, it's fun to me, it interests me. Carpenters do a lot, so we build houses, we paint, we do some digging in the dirt, we haul lumber, anything that requires building. I like most about the class is learning about how to build and learning how to use a tape measure and the math behind it. This class you can earn your core curriculum certification and your carpentry helper and full-fledged carpentry certification. This is a class that's about work. It's about furthering your life and going into the workforce after you finish high school, being a good worker, somebody that has a lot of good work ethic. It teaches you a lot of things. It teaches you how to use your hands and your mind at the same time. Nailed it! One of the most popular CTE programs in Kakashu Parish is truly lit. Get your safety gloves and helmet ready. We're going welding. For welding, you, you have to learn how to lay out different things that you're going to build. You have to be able to prep the surfaces. You got to understand that the metal has to be clean in order to fuse together. You got to understand heat control. There's a, there's a lot that goes into it other than just two pieces of metal and a, an electrode. They'll learn how to fuse metal and learn the different aspects of what's expected in the refinery. We weld T joints, metal, and we know how to cut with a torch. How to run beads weld metal together. It is a two-year program. Uh, core we try to finish in one year. Most students do finish it in one year. And then we have an actual helper certification. We don't go into level one. It's pretty, pretty involved. Our helper certification can be obtained in two years. Though. It will help me better educate myself or whatever I go into the military. There's such a demand for welders because of the new LNG projects that have come into our area. It's one of the highest paid crafts in the area, so they're not going to pay somebody that doesn't have the drive to do it. You actually have to have a desire to learn, but with the proper desire and the proper training, yes, you can get a job very easily. Students can expect to make up to $30 an hour and above. It's fun. You'll enjoy it. Phew! That has me a little warm. Let's go cool off a bit with air conditioning and electrical classes. We cover residential wiring, which includes switches and receptacles, and three-way switches, light fixtures, ceiling fans. And we also cover industrial, which will be, they'll be bending conduit and pulling wire through conduit and things such as that, where that would be in an industrial setting. Taking this class, because I eventually want to own my own business in the electrical field. I like being in the shop. I like working with wires and learning new equipment and materials. We teach out of NCCR curricula, which is the National Center for Construction Education and Research. They will get an industry-based certification from NCCR. They can earn dual enrollment if they go on and further their education elsewhere. 
I'm taking this class because I want to be an electrician in the future and I always do stuff with my dad, like stuff like this. So I wanted to like take it further in my career and do it. This will give them a head start. When they leave here, they can continue their education and move on into the residential or industrial field. I learned how to wire things. I learned a bunch of new equipment that I didn't know what to use or how to use. This class is basically electrical and HVAC mixed together, so it's basically taking two classes in one. So you learn a variety of electrical and air conditioning units at the same time. A student that takes this class, if he completes this course, he'll learn all about the hand tools and all the electrical tools we use in the air conditioning field. And they'll learn how to do some basic installation and all. And they'd be very well good helper when they left here. What I like most about the HVAC class is the hands-on projects because I'm a hands-on person. That's really how I learn and teach myself how to do things. I learn how to uh, bend copper tubing, hook up circuits, and wire an electrical panel to run a unit. If a student continues on after they leave here, they could probably go to work for an air conditioning company right away as a helper. There is some schools that require some more. They have to go get a certification. Most of that can be done online. I'll go work with my friend's dad's company because he has a company for fixing and repairing air conditioning units. And that's what you basically learn in this class. Even if one is not gonna go into this field, say in air conditioning refrigeration when they get out of here, just to know for yourself, if your air conditioner breaks at home, you might know a little bit about how to repair it or whether you call someone out to repair it, you may know a little bit about what they're doing. All this talk has me kind of hungry. Me too, let's get cooking with our Pro Star culinary students. Throughout the course of this class, uh, students will learn simple knife skills, they learn about stocks and sauces, and then we move on to more complex topics such as nutrition, management skills, communication skills, all the while maintaining that focus on trade and industry standardized cooking. I like most about ProStar is the on-hands experience. It's much more different than um, home ec and uh, foods class that are taken at home school. So. I just feel it's much more beneficial to come here. Well, we offer many certifications in this class. Serve Safe Sanitation Certification. We offer ProStart Level 1 and Level 2 certification, which sets them up very nicely for a college career in the culinary arts. Classes and certification in customer service. And then we offer the American Culinary Federation's Certified Fundamentals Cook Certification, uh, which is good for scholarship money, as well as making you more appealing to the more high caliber colleges. This class will help prepare me for my future because of all the experience we have in here. We have luncheons that we open sometimes and we stay all day and it really it's like a real kitchen experience and it's going to help us in the future. This can lead to jobs in any number of service industry businesses such as casinos, any restaurant, hospitals. If you focus on nutrition and dietetics, there's also food writing, food blogging. I mean, there's, there's so many different jobs that this could lead into. That just filled me up. I think it's time to switch our gears and get our engines revving. Let's pull into the shops at Auto Body and Auto Tech. Some of the things the students learn is how to repair collision damaged automobiles or automobiles with finished defects paint work and whatnot. Down to the bare substrate, they learn the process to build it from that bare substrate all the way up to the final finish. Some things that we do in this class are painting, straightening up body panels, or we're detailing the car. It's mandatory that they go through the SP2 safety. Uh, safety is number one at College Street at all times. They also pursue a 14 module series of intro to collision repair that is provided by ICAR which is the industry-based certification in the industry. It's online, available 24-7, 365. It's a fun class. It teaches you things that you need to know, things you've never known before. We teach our students how to work on modern vehicles. We base our program on maintenance and light repair, and they do tasks that are established by NATEV, which is the National Automotive Training and Education Foundation. I've always just been interested in cars, working on them, old and new. We have 
eight different vehicles for them to work on. We have real tools, real cars. That's pretty much what they'll be doing in the industry. I want to join the military, so it'll help me to become a mechanic in the military. It will help me prepare for when I go into the automotive business and be able to fix cars. The skills they're learning, being that we're teaching maintenance and light repair, cover about 80% of all the work done in modern automotive shops. So we learn to rotate tires, bleed the brakes, and torque them. We fix brakes, we do steering and suspension, we're working on struts right now, and pretty soon we're going to learn how to do timing chains. We have our students earning ASE student certification. There's 10 different certifications they can earn. It's brakes, steering and suspension, electrical, maintenance and light repair. Uh, but some of our students excel and they'll earn some of the other certifications also. It's a lot of work, but it pays off. It is really fun and I would highly recommend that they join it. It's not just car engines that need repairing. Our outdoor power and equipment crew can fix engines big and small. Some of the things that students learn in here would be learn about safety, tools, identification of engine parts, assembling and disassembling engines. You learn how to diagnose problems, what's wrong with it, why is it not running, and then you find out how to fix it. The different careers this job can lead to is as a heavy wheel mechanic, motorcycles, ATVs, different jobs in the small engine field. I'm taking this class because I love working on engines and taking things apart. I am taking outdoor power equipment to further my future and learn more before I graduate. It prepared me for my career, my future by you know, just learning before I graduate, getting to know more about the engine, so when I enter the field, it's very easy. The industry-based certification is through the EETC, which is the Engine Training Council, and that is earned through a certification test. Different salaries is average from $10 to $20 an hour, which averages up to about $30,000 to $40,000 a year for experienced mechanics. Some of the benefits is just being able to work on your own equipment, save yourself money, being able to do things on your own. It's easy, but a good, it's a very good course to learn. It's just, it's a very fun course to learn. This is definitely worth taking. If you really want a good career that's easy to learn, but also fun at the same time, this is definitely one to take. From auto and engine jobs to industrial jobs down the pipeline, Check out how the next crop of pipe fitters are learning their trade in high school. I'm taking this class mostly because I want to be a welder, and I think most welders need to know a little bit about pipe fitting, and most pipe fitters need to know a little bit about welding. They learn measurements, different terminology, getting them prepared for when they get out of here, when they get out in the field, they'll know what's going on. I'm taking this class because I'm, next year I'm trying to go for a P-TECH and in P-TECH you're involved in pipe and I want to be able to understand the pipe better. I've learned in this class different hand tools to use, the grinder, the porta band and diff just small different hand tools to go along with pipe fitting. In this class learn how to read a tape measure, how to bevel pipe, how to measure up pipe, how to find an, the angles and all that of pipe. After students complete this class they'll be able to go to work as a helper in the pipe fitting, boiler making, welding field. There is a big demand for pipe fitters. If you're looking to be a welder, this is a great class to be because pipe fitters, they get the pipe ready for the welders to weld. And if you're, you get paid more if you want to be a pipe and welder. In this class, the stuff that I've learned, I could take what I've learned and apply it in the job field that I'm actually going for later on in life. If I continue to pursue this, I don't think I'll have problems getting a job because it will be on my resume and they'll look at that as an extra class I took and better for me to become a P-TECH. There is truly a perfect fit for any student in career and technical education. This is just a text of some of the courses offered in Cox Street Parish. For a full list of CTE courses and pathways, go to cpsb.org and search Career and Technical Education. Thanks for joining us and helping us celebrate CTE Month. We'll see you next time for another edition of CPSV TV.